Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna show you how to use a really inexpensive Behringer device to record uh, both a, a, excuse me, a guitar and a vocal track in GarageBand uh, as two completely separate tracks so that you can go from a mixing board into your MacBook Pro into GarageBand uh, as two tracks and you can edit each one independently instead of having all of that just go in and record as one single track which doesn't give you the flexibility of adding effects and things like that to say a guitar but leaving your vocals alone so I'm going to show you an inexpensive way to do it. Uh, this is a uh, Mackie uh, 802 uh, VLZ3 8 channel mixing board uh, just a uh, little uh, inexpensive uh, board but it works great for me and uh, I've got my guitar coming into uh, line one and then in line two we've got a microphone coming in. Uh, just a couple of notes here. Uh, for the guitar, I've got this instrument um, button clicked down. Um, then I also have the low cut button clicked down on both channel one and channel two. Uh, the instrument button is not clicked down on channel two. And uh, you'll also notice here that on my Aux 3.4 send, uh, I've got a cable that's plugged in. I'll show you where that goes in just a second. But uh, So I've got um, a quarter inch to uh, RCA cable uh, with the quarter inch jacks. One of them plugged into the left side of the Alt 3.4 output and the another one plugged into the uh, left channel on the uh, on the main output. Okay, so here I have this uh, this uh, Behringer uh, device. This is really inexpensive. Uh, you can link to it on uh, on Amazon from the notes on the uh, on the description. It's it's a UCA 202, and what this really allows you to do is connect uh, via USB, which is right here, to uh, a Mac because on these new newer MacBooks, there's not a whole lot of uh, inputs, and so the uh, the cable uh, is coming out of the soundboard, which I showed you just a second ago, into the input jacks on this device here. Uh, you can also plug in some headphones and listen to it, and you can also go out to, say, some speakers or a monitor. So that's it's kind of cool uh, little device here. And um, so the instruments are going into the mixing board and uh, then coming out here. And because we're splitting up the, the channel, uh, between the Alt 3.4 output and the main output. Uh, these are going in uh, each as one of the two uh, channels that are going to be recorded in GarageBand. I hope I'm making sense there. On this microphone channel, I am pressing the mute Alt 3.4 button right here, uh, which it, it does mute that channel, um, but what it also does is it reroutes the signal from this input out to the Alt 3.4 jack. So in essence, the, the, the guitar, which is plugged in channel one, is routing out the main output, and then the mic, which I've muted or created the uh, Alt 3.4 uh, redirect, is going out through this. So when I plug in this device, you'll see both of those are going uh, into the, uh, the inputs uh, on that device being passed through by USB directly into GarageBand and I'll show you in just a sec how that is set up. Okay and so now I've got my GarageBand project open and uh, in, in order to use this method to record your guitar and your vocal on two separate tracks so you can sort of edit them rather than have everything come in from your mixing board into one track and not really be able to treat your so your vocals and uh, is separate from your guitar and maybe add effects on guitar that um, won't mess around with your vocals. You need to change your audio input to the uh, USB audio codec here and uh, open up an empty project. And that'll take just a second to load. Okay, and so now um, what I've got is I've got these uh, two inputs and so uh, my channel one is going to be coming in off of uh, channel one, or my guitar is going to be coming in off of channel one, um, which will come in through the main uh, output on the mixing board into um, uh, 
uh, I think it was the left side, but I can't remember exactly. And then for my vocals, I'll be bringing that in on input two. So I'll go ahead and create my track. Then I'm going to uh, go ahead and create a new track here. So I've got input two selected for my vocals. And, uh, and now I'm, I've got the two tracks set up, but I need to make a couple of adjustments in GarageBand in order to be able to see and, uh, and work these. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click and say track header components and I'm going to show record enable. So both of these I now can see my record enable buttons and I can make both of those hot. Now the next thing I want to do is go into my uh, what do you call this smart controls and click on the little information and make sure that my inputs are set up uh, correctly so on the on the guitar track um, I make sure that that's set to uh, USB uh, audio codec and that this one is set to uh, input number two on the USB audio codec um, then what you can do is uh, is uh, other controls that you already may be familiar with, uh, you can choose automatic level control on your uh, on your record level for uh, each of these, and uh, you know add your noise gate if you need to on uh, on both of those. And then you, at at that point, you, all you have to really do is uh, is pick whatever effects that you want on both of your tracks, and once you hit record you're actually recording on both of the, the tracks simultaneously. So this is bringing in an unbalanced uh, connection. It's not stereo. It's going to be uh, a mono track with your guitar and a mono track with your audio. But what this will allow you to do then, and I'll go ahead and pull up a uh, uh, one, that we, one that we did. And so what this will allow you to do then is do some work on each of your tracks independently. So this way you can apply effects to your guitar track and um, you can clean up your, uh, your vocals however you'd like to do that. Apply uh, different sorts of controls and, uh, and just do all your work there as two separate tracks. And then you can uh, export that into a... Uh, in MP3 or if you have even more sophisticated uh, software uh, you can do really whatever you want to do with your tracks as uh, separate tracks between your instrument and your vocals. Now um, there's other ways to do this involving you know buying you know fairly expensive interfaces but with the Behringer uh, UCA202 you can still accomplish this effect for all of about 30-35 bucks depending on uh, where you are looking online for that device uh, at least at the time I'm recording this video. So I hope that that helps you out and uh, you're able to uh, record some really cool stuff in, in GarageBand and apply whatever effects you want and have a, have a great time making music.